It's not your fault if you are born poor. It's your fault if you die poor. Most people don't make it in life. The simple reason is because most people have many excuses. 99% of the failures in life come from people who have the habit of making excuses. They make all kinds of excuses. I don't have the right education. I don't have the time and money. I am overwhelmed. It's not the right time to start. I am afraid. I'm too old. I am too young. It's just who I am. It's too hard. What will others think? What if I fail? I can't handle no. The only thing standing between you and your goals is that pathetic excuse you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. Excuses, excuses, excuses. None of it matters to your success in life. It's all about your results. Your real results. Every vice has its excuse ready. If you really want to do it, you do it. A man can fail many times, but he isn't failure until he begins to blame somebody else. Difficulty is the common excuse that history never accepts. No matter how old you are now, you are never too old or too young for success or going after what you want. Helen Keller, at the age of 19 months, became deaf and blind, but that didn't stop her. She was the first deaf and blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. Mozart was already competent on keyboard and violin. He composed from the age of five. So what is your excuse? The number one reason people don't get what they want is because they give up too soon. You didn't get the first job you wanted, so you gave up. The first business you started working on failed, so you gave up. The first time you went for a run, you pooked, so you gave up. The first time you sent in a writing piece, you got turned down, so you gave up. We have too many excuses. It all boils down to the fact that you didn't get what you wanted right away, so you gave up. You called it in, you packed it up, and you headed home. Stop giving up. Stop the excuses. Be honest with yourself. Sometimes you need to lock yourself in a room and scream at the top of your lungs, I have many excuses in my life. Do that until you turn purple. Get it out of your system. Then get back to work. Grow stronger and do the impossible. He that is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anyone else expects of you. Never, and I repeat, never excuse yourself. At the end of the day, let there be no excuses, no explanations, no regrets.